Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we are up in the above ground greenhouse. Um, we have some frost coming, possible snow too, I guess. Great. When? This weekend. Oh. <laughs> So we're going to pick everything that we can. We're going to leave the winter squash and see how long we can push that. Pull the watermelons and Pull. tomatoes. and Yeah. All the watermelons and all the tomatoes are coming out today. Even if they're not ready. Even if they're not ready. We just yeah. have to do it. <laughs> so we're going to harvest all this stuff. There's a ton of tomatoes. Uh, the watermelons back there. Tons of green tomatoes. But we're going to just pull them all. What else do we do? Rather have them than not. Exactly. And I'm hoping that we can get them all, um, what's the word? Red? Ripened. Ripened <laughs> <laughs> inside, because I'm gonna can all of these. And um, I was reading that if tomatoes are exposed to the frost, then they're not supposed to be canned. So we're gonna get all these now, get them inside, put them in a box with some paper and uh, hope that does the trick. So we have a huge basket of green tomatoes, different sizes and varieties. We're gonna bring those in and ripen them. And I think we're gonna let the tomato plants themselves um, go for a little longer. They still have a bunch of flowers coming in. And these are all like cold climate tomatoes. So we're gonna see how far we can push those with the greenhouse. Um, but yeah, that's that with the tomatoes. Now we're gonna go grab the watermelon. Yeah. The watermelon plant itself is looking a little rough. We know the fruit um, already, but. Yeah, the fruit are looking good and decent. This one back here has gotten so big. Um, and we have, I think, three or four on the vine that we're gonna go ahead and harvest right oh, now. Geez. All right. We know these are early, but the frost is coming, so there's nothing else for us to do. Nice. Soaked. We have two more. Right. Adam's gonna get the jumbo one in the corner. I think this is either the first or second fruit that we had on the plant. So yeah, it's just second. something got the first one. But... Huge. Wow. Not huge, <laughs> but <laughs> biggest one we grew. That's exciting. We're going to weigh all these and see how many. Let's start them earlier next year. Definitely start them earlier. Yeah. One more this is all hidden experimental. back here. Yeah, this is our first year with this greenhouse. And Adam actually fixed it. It was like totally caved in. And he fixed the frame. And so this is just like experimental to see what we can grow, how long we can push the season. Cute. There they are. Wow. All three. Sweet. Let's go weigh them. <laughs> so the squash in here is doing really well. These are um, winter squash, the acorn squash. So we're going to just see how long we can push it with those. All right, so that is that. We have our watermelon and our tomatoes. These are the two things we wanted to grab before the frost. So yep. we did our stuff. Now we gotta just go figure out how to pres preserve these. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out in the greenhouse. Uh, we'll show y'all more of the underground greenhouse. I guess maybe right now. Yeah, should I grab Might those as well. plants? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. it's not the end yet. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> So the outdoor garden is pretty crispy and has been pretty crispy for the last month or so. Um, definitely feels like fall out here, but the underground greenhouse is still thriving. The tomato plants are huge. Um, so yeah, we'll show you that next. So here's what it looks like in here. You can see it's a big difference from the outside garden and even the above ground greenhouse. Um, we have a ton of tomatoes still coming in and we'll let this go for maybe another month or so. Um, we have eggplants still coming in, lots of peppers, tomatillos back there, tons of peppers over here. So this area we probably won't clear for at least another month. This is always an experiment too to see how long we can push it. But um, the tomatoes really took off this year. 
They're like seven feet tall or something. But I guess we can grab whatever is good in here and uh, then that'll do it. All right, so we weren't necessarily planning on picking the tomatoes in the underground greenhouse right now. They could have ripened. It's longer out here probably. But... Yeah, they could have ripened on the vine. Um, but we have some sort of mouse or something, something. getting in here and eating the tomatoes. So it's we're going to just grab, um, we're going to grab everything that we can and just ripen them inside um, and kind of clear off these plants. And then if they grow more, that's great. And we'll have more to harvest later. Perfect. But we're going to go ahead and grab them. Yeah. I'll just get all the big ones that I can. Uh, we don't have another basket, so it is what it is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> a lot more tomatoes. We just harvested a bunch. We both have a shirt full. Two shirts um, full. Two shirts full. We, I would imagine multiple pounds. Yeah, for sure. Ten or so. Yeah. I mm -hmm. don't know. I'm totally making Five. that up. <laughs> we're gonna measure we'll weigh them when we go in um but yeah that's that these tomato plants are pretty much cleared for now um we'll be back out in the garden a little bit more uh before winter hits yep but that's that thanks for hanging out <laughs> have a good one what, <laughs> what? i never said that <laughs> have a good one Bye. Happy Monday. <laughs>